Anyway, the Washington Post has a piece in uh, yesterday about how former White House officials say they uh, fear that uh, Putin has been the guy who influenced this orange fucker's views on Ukraine and the 2016 campaign. Yeah, John Brennan, thank you. Uh, so they're going after John Brennan now. Yeah? Uh, what is happening here, just like it happened in Nazi Germany or in Soviet Russia uh, back shortly after the revolution, uh, the Trumpists are warning, in this case, CIA case officers, FBI people, they are warning them, you start any sort of investigation that makes our dear leader look bad and we're coming after you. So they're going after John Brennan now. Uh, I understand today that the guy who is handling uh, this so-called phony investigation, uh, and I forget his name too, he's new, uh, he has uh, requested, I don't know what that means, all the emails and texts and everything that John Brennan wrote when this investigation was starting to see if they can trap him, if they can find one fucking word or one sentence like they did with Lisa Page and, and her uh, boyfriend at the, at the FBI. See if they can trap them. After meeting privately in July of 2017 with Vladimir Putin at the Group 20 Summit in Hamburg, Trump grew more insistent that Ukraine work to defeat him. Not Russia, Ukraine. And as the Washington Post puts it, Trump's intense resistance to the assessment of every single U.S. intelligence agency that no dumb shit, it was Russia... Trump's resistance, Trump's, no, 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 it wasn't. It was Ukraine. My handler, Vladimir Putin, told me. All of that led a lot of his advisors to think that Putin himself helped spur the idea of Ukraine's culpability. One former White House official, all these people are speaking uh, anonymously because they don't want to wind up floating in the Potomac River. One former senior White House officials said Trump even stated so explicitly at one point, saying he knew Ukraine was a real culprit because, quote, quoting Trump, Putin told me, end quote. Oh, another anonymous second, third, fourth, 20th hand quote, right? Two other former officials said the senior White House official described Trump's comment to them. Hearsay! Hearsay! This Ukraine bullshit has consumed Trump's attention and it's now being taken up by Republicans in Congress, of course, who are defending this orange fucker against impeachment. Top Republican lawmakers have demanded investigations of Ukrainian interference for which senior U.S. officials, including 13 law enforcement agencies and investigative agencies, say there is no there there. Oh, but that's the deep state. And they're all conspiring because they hate Christians. No, I hate Christians. I don't know if these fuckers hate them or not. Allegations about Ukraine's role in the 2016 race have been promoted by an array of figures, including right-wing blabber fucks on places like Breitbart and the Fox Sewer Hole and some of these other places. And, and by the way, everything that they put out there, uh, Trump just gobbles it up by the handful. It's like when he eats double Whopper burgers, he just stuffs this shit into his ears. Rudy Giuliani, his personal lawyer, also puts his shit out there for Trump to eat.
U.S. intelligence officials told lawmakers and their staff members this past fall that Russian security services played the major role in spreading false claims of Ukrainian complicity, and there was absolutely no truth to it. Now, why would they say that? Do they have a secret agenda, the, these intelligence officials? Do they really want uh, uh, to build a, a, a tapestry of lies like Trump does to shift attention away from the culprit, Russia, run by the former head of the KGB, Vladimir Putin, and shift it to, to Ukraine because that will remove the stigma of Russia helping Trump win the election and put it on Ukraine help Trump win the election, which I don't understand because either way, it's a foreign power helping Trump win the election. Ah, but there must be something else there. It's Trump's good buddy and his handler and mentor and boss man, Vladimir Putin, who has been telling Trump, listen, get this shit away from me. Or I will let loose the video of you pissing on the whores I provided for you. Huh? Huh? The concern among senior White House officials that Putin helped build up Trump's bullshit theories about Ukraine, according to the Washington Post, underscores longstanding fears inside the administration about the Russian president's ability to influence Trump's views. That's not influence. That's control. Putin controls this fucker. You Christian law, white lawmakers, you don't get that? You don't know that you are working hand in glove with the Russian military intelligence units to destroy your own country, you dirty son of a bitches? Do you not? You don't care, do you? Because you think Putin is a Christian because he's Russian Orthodox? You bastards. I love this line. The Washington Post puts this in. The White House did not respond to requests for comment. <laughs> oh, really? The Russian embassy in Washington declined to address whether Putin told Trump that Ukraine interfered in the 2016 election, saying only that information about the two leaders' conversations is available on the Kremlin's website. Oh, and we all trust them, don't we, huh? If it's on the website run by the Kremlin, well, it has to be true. Unlike ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, or CNN, they would put out bullshit. But the Kremlin's website will put out the truth. So you want the truth? You speak Russian? Go to the Kremlin's website, and it's all there. And if you don't speak Russian, have your Google Translate page open so you can just type in what it says and see what the truth really is. Bullshit. I really need the next four days off because I am losing my fucking mind. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.